Uh, last time we talked, you were heading to Iowa. Uh, the end result was a sixth-place finish. Beat a couple Big Ten teams, lost to a couple Big Ten teams. But can you kind of just give us a recap of, of the event as a whole? Yeah, Iowa was uh, you know, a great first day for our team. I thought that uh, the guys battled. The golf course was uh, set up uh, for players to take advantage of it, and some of our guys did. Um, you know, we were third place after the first day. And, uh, you know, going into the second day, we had certainly great thoughts about uh, finishing this tournament off, uh, finishing it off, uh, you know, better than we had the last couple weeks. Um, the guys were confident. Again, it wasn't our day. Um, Sunday uh, presented some problems for certain players. Um, you know, it was disappointing. Uh, Eric uh, Van Ryan had a great first day, uh, marred only by, uh, you know, signing the incorrect scorecard. So, unfortunately, that put our team in, uh, in the hole kind of starting that day out. And I thought the guys played hard, though. And, uh, you know, we carried it into a really good week of practice uh, with uh, our sights set on the Big Ten. You're heading to the Big Ten Championships, and this is a new kind of venue for the championships, and it'll be there for a while. Are you kind of a fan of knowing that it's going to be at this at the same course year after year after year, or did you like, you know, the different courses, different sites? I could go either way on it. You know, I think uh, I think Fresh Lake is going to present uh, itself as a great venue for a Big Ten championship. It's a long golf course. It's a demanding golf course, but very similar to the college golf courses that we've been playing. They're going to treat us uh, well there, and uh, I, I look forward to the Big Ten network always being at any, any tournament, and... Um, I'm thankful to them for that. Uh, the Big Ten match was certainly a good experience for our guys on camera. Uh, I am also in favor of playing at uh, venues across the, the Big Ten. You know, I think, it, you know, going back to my college days, I, I remember going and playing tournaments at uh, Indiana and Illinois and getting to see their college campuses, really getting their support uh, in their community behind their golf program. I think we did the same thing when the Big Ten championship was out at Winsong. It's great to get uh, Minnesota golf and the alumni involved. But uh, we are at French Lake for three years, and uh, you know we're going to look forward to a great tournament. You mentioned the Pete Dye course, demanding, um, known as kind of hilly. Is there anything here that you could take your, your players to to kind of get them ready for it? I mean, is Spring Hill kind of similar as far as hilly, or is there no, anything around here? We played we played three golf courses. Spring Hill is a very hilly golf course, uh, similar to uh, French Lake setup. We played uh, Hazeltine. We played Troyburn. And, uh, you know, we were at Les Bolstead uh, for qualifying. And uh, each of those uh, has, you know, dem it's a demanding layout, uh, certainly at Hazeltine. And our guys got a taste of what the length of French Lake could be like. Um, you know, we have every golf course that fits every style across the country here in Minnesota. We're so lucky to be able to go and play these courses. Um, you know, and the, and the head professionals, wanna, they set the golf courses up very similar to what we're going to find for a tournament. You mentioned uh, Van Royen. You know, he's playing well, minus the, the little snafu in Iowa, but he's playing well. He's your leader. Um, finished fourth at Big Tens last year. What can he do to take the next step and maybe become an individual champion? I think he's ready for that. Uh, you know, he's played in the last couple of groups now in the last uh, three tournaments of the spring. And uh, having the experience from last year's Big Ten championship, a lot of seniors graduated from uh, a really talented Big Ten but the defending champ, Luke Guthrie, is back, and uh, he's going to be a formidable opponent at French Lake. Uh, Eric has certainly uh, practiced really well um, the last month. Certainly brought the level of uh, you know practice, the level of play up, even even when we're at home with all the younger players on the team. You know he is serving as a great leader. He wants it. He's motivated, and um, I, I'm excited to uh, see him play all four rounds this weekend. You mentioned the younger players. I think with Eric and maybe David, only a couple of guys that have played in a Big Ten championship event. Um, is there anything you need to tell your younger guys to get ready for this big event? Well, there's going to be some nervous anticipation, most certainly, uh, on the part of all five of the players. Playing in your conference championship uh, really means so much to these athletes, and it means a lot to us as coaching staff also. You know, we work all year to try to win a Big Ten championship. We would love to come home with a Big Ten title. Um, and that's certainly going to uh, increase uh, the awareness, uh, you know, on the players that are playing in the tournament. It's a great experience. Uh, I was lucky enough to play in four Big Ten championships myself. I hope all these guys get the same experience. And uh, just knowing that you're playing against the best players in the whole country and they're right in your conference, uh, anyone's got to be excited for that. You know, I am a little bit uh, nervous about the performance of the younger guys, but uh, they've also played all year long. And... Um, 
I'm only nervous because they're going to be really wanting to play well. And any time you carry kind of that heightened anticipation into the tournament, there's going to be some nerves on the first tee the first day. There's going to be trying to get off to a really good start, and I hope they all can do that. Lastly, ranking-wise, Iowa's going to be the top-ranked team there, but you showed, your team showed, that you can play with these guys, especially in the Big Ten match. I know it's a different kind of golf, but you've seen all these teams. So, you know, what do you have to do to win? Well, we're going to have to play a little bit better than we've been playing all spring. We're really going to have to return to some of the form that we had late in the fall at the Big Ten match play early in the spring. Finishing off golf rounds and stroke play is so important. When you get off to a good start, being able to finish it, that way you're going to bring in so much, you know, into the next rounds you're going to feel more confident. And I feel like if we can get off to a good start in this tournament, we can play with any of these teams just like we did at the Big Ten.